morning, afternoon, not really kind of sure what time of day it is today but I uh, don't think it really matters when the weather's like this does it? A <laughs> uh, bit of a poolside live today for you peeps, um, see how everybody's getting on, are you all ready for Christmas? It is exciting, hmm. I am having a nice breakfast cocktail. <laughs> hey everybody, give us some thumbs up, let me know um, where you're at, let me know, oh I've got loads of people watching, morning, afternoon, I'm not sure what time of day it is, um, somebody tell me. <laughs> cool beans, um, wow loads of you just jumped on, I hope everybody's doing well, um, just a few days till Christmas, oh thanks for the love peeps. Um, so today I just wanted to, um, hey Kat, how's it going hun? Oh, this is lovely isn't it? I'm so sorry if you're somewhere where it's cold and miserable at the moment. Shoes, how's it going darling? Hello. Hello Rachel, my Amy Hatton. Um, how are you doing my lovely? Wonderful to see you. Cool beans. So, um, I wanted to cover today just, um, everybody's looking at me quite strange but you know, you know me. <laughs> I don't really care. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to cover today four steps really on, on kind of growing your business and um, uh, what does Kat say? Well, well gel of that sun. Ah, oh, it's lovely. It's, it is way too cold here. Mr. Morant, it's very early where you are as well, my lovely. I'll give you a, a little panorama. There's a sleeping Regan down there somewhere. <laughs> cool beans. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so let me get started instead of waffling on. So four, um, four steps to growing your business and something that I've really spoken about quite a bit but I know there's a lot of you that are now kind of to the end of the year, everybody's kind of in the mode of, um, you know, getting ready and starting to set the goals for 2017. So um, if you're not in the process of doing that right now, I definitely suggest kind of taking a sit down for, you know, an hour and really kind of starting to plan your goals for 2017. Um, and not just to plan your goals but to also break it down uh, and to really kind of start to put the little things into position that are going to help you when it comes to moving forward in 2017. So for example, say you wanted to get, I don't know, have um, you know 10 people in your business, <laughs> oh, oh, um, 10 extra people in your business, you know, within the next kind of you know, three months, how are you going to do that? How many people do you need to speak to on a daily, on a weekly, on a monthly basis to be able to kind of generate that amount of sales or that amount of people? Um, hey there, hey Lisa, hey, this is Etherington, lovely to see you. Um, so, four tips, four steps, sorry, to really start growing your business. So we're going to start off talking about personal branding. And this is something that I am a big advocate of. This is something that I talk about, you know, quite a lot. Um, and, you know, with regards to personal branding, it's really important to understand that you need to be branding yourself as a person. You need to be branding yourself, not just talking about your products or your company or your business, because people buy from people. Um, so it's so important that you start to really kind of, you know, brand yourself. People don't join a company. They join, you know, someone from a company. Um, and so, you know, it's really important to kind of stand out and with personal branding as well it's really going to help you to kind of stand out from all the other reps that are in your business that are all talking about the same things on social media so yeah really really important to you know brand yourself as opposed to just your company so you know who are you who is who we got on Lisa Sykes hello lovely who is Lisa Sykes you know why would somebody be buying uh, or, or wanting to partner with Lisa Sykes as opposed to somebody else that is kind of representing the same company so really important to start thinking about that who are you what do you stand for what value can you give what can you do to encourage people to come and, and join you and be part of your business uh, and want to work with you so the second thing number two is of course the next step um, is you know you when you get this this mind shift that is coming up next and this is so important it really really is but the next step is content you know and when you really understand this kind of shift in your mind your business is going to change forever and I completely completely promise you on this because when you start to add content and you start to instead of thinking of yourself as a salesperson instead of thinking of yourself as a sales rep or a salesperson 
Think of yourself as a as a teacher, you know, think of yourself as, you know, you no longer to need to think about yourself being a sales rep, but you need to kind of think about yourself as being a teacher. Think about yourself as being a problem solver. And this again ties back in with the personal branding, but you know, rather than being a walk-in, you know, advert or commercial for your business, you know, you're going to start to provide value, you know, whatever your niche is. If your niche is health and wellness, you need to become the health and wellness guru, you know, instead of just going, this is my product, look, before and afters, you can lose 20 million stone in a day or whatever, you know, you need to be adding some real value in terms of health and wellness so that what happens is you start to brand yourself as an expert, you stand out from the other people within your company and people will come to you, you know, in the future if they want help with their weight loss or with their health or with their wellness. So it's so, so, so important. Hey, Andy, lovely to see you. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. Um, thank you. Oh, gosh, I dropped, I'm almost dropped everybody then. Hang on, there you go. Um, so you need to really, to stand out in a, in a crowd of, you know, however many other millions of reps there are that are all selling the same products, so important that you are not a walking advert for your company, but you're gonna provide value, whatever your niche is, you know? People buy from people that they know, they like, and they trust. People do business with people that they know, they like, they trust. I'll give you an example. When I go and get my car MOT'd, I drive from my house 45 minutes to near where my mum and dad live because I know the guy there and I trust him and I've been to other places and had my MOT done or had work done on my car and you know I haven't been happy and so I now drive 45 minutes. I drive 45 minutes to my dentist because I know trust and I like my dentist. So it is so 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 important that you know you you really think about that you provide value you, you know whatever your niche is start to provide some value stand out in the crowd be an expert be an authority in your field as opposed to somebody that is just spamming you know people will join you know people that they know um, and people that they know are going to help them to, to reach success so you know if you're you know portraying yourself as an expert in this industry if you are somebody that is adding value to the community you know I would want who would you want to join would you want to go and work with somebody like Eric Worre or would you want to go and work with you know you know Misty who s s talks about all of her personal life on the social media and spams the shizzle out of everything of course you want to work with Eric Worre right you know amazing opportunities so think of that it really is uh, it is so true it really is so bear that in mind so that's Number two, start to think about content. Number three, grow your friends list crucial you know it is so important people forget that you know relationship marketing network marketing is all about um you know you've got something hilarious to tell you oh ali i'm excited um so, <laughs> misty lol sorry <laughs> sorry susan um so um yeah i've lost my train of thought now oh yes friends list so important to, to grow your friends list um so you know whatever social media platforms that you're using if you are you know using facebook if you're using twitter if if you're using Instagram, um, if you're using Snapchat, whatever it is, you need to be growing your friends list and you need to start developing relationships. It's relationship marketing, it's network marketing, so important that you are physically forming relationships with people. Now what that doesn't mean is that you know you add a friend and then you spam them your link and you spam them your business and join my team ah, yeah, and all that kind of crap. Um, start to form relationships, you know, because what will happen then is, you know, I've got people that work with me now directly in, you know, my opportunities that I have known on social media for years. And, you know, the timing wasn't right for them previously, but, you know, they followed me. We've, we've you know, continued to have conversations. We've built relationships and friendships. And now they're, they're working alongside me. They're partnering with me. So, you know, you never, ever know. It's all about building your pipeline. It's all about uh, building relationships. And I never really talk, I never talk about my business until that crops up in a conversation. So, um, what does that say? Don't be a spampreneur. I love that. I love that. <laughs> so true. Oh, the sun's gone in a little bit now. I can actually see. Um, so really important that you are building relationships and, you know, biz go to business when the conversation goes to business, but don't do that beforehand. Don't start conversations with, you know, the in intention of, um, of just spamming someone your business. Now, uh, the fourth thing, and this is so important, and this is something that is really kind of bypassed a little bit by more more um, new kind of people into the industry or um, more kind of novices into the industry and that is growing your email list 
Now, you've probably heard this before, but without an email list, you don't actually have a business. And, you know, what do I mean by an email list? Well, you know, you should be growing a, a list of contacts that you have, you know, with regards to your business opportunity, with regards to your, um, you know, your products, and you should be building this email list. If you don't have a list, honestly, you don't have a business. So really, really important that you are, so everybody's looking at me very strange, but you know what? We, we're always working, right? I mean, I've been working on, I was working on my website yesterday. We've been working on all, you know, um, loads of things. There's loads of things in the pipeline for 2017. Um, my first webinar in January um, that I'm going to be sharing with you, loads and loads of cool stuff, but we'll get to that in a little while. Um, so what you need to do is grow your email list if you don't have a list you don't have a business so you need to be you know it takes people on average 8 to 18 exposures to something before they can make an informed decision so basically you know I'll just give you an example uh, you know if you are interested in a product or interested in a business it is going to take you 8 to 18 times to look at that before you really decide whether you're going to move forward with it or not and so what you can do is by growing an email list and using an autoresponder customer relationship manager you can then be frequently sending out emails to your your list of people now what I mean by that I don't mean by that is to like every day send them you know an offer that you've got going on or a product that you've got coming out or a business opportunity it's all about the 80 20 rule so it's 80 percent you know adding value 80 percent building that trust 80 percent building those relationships 80 percent of things that are of good content that you can actually send to people so that they start to respect you so that they start to appreciate you um, and then 20% of that you can then you know really kind of build in an offer or you know talk a little about your business opportunity something like that but it should absolutely massively be all about creating value so you know that's so it's so important if you don't have a list if you don't have the means to build a list please 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 reach out to me 2017 you know as 2016 was is all about adding value 2016 uh, 2017 is going to be all about helping as many people reach success because here's the thing 97% of people fail in network marketing 97% okay and the reason why the 97% fail at network marketing is because you know what they're doing is they are you know spamming all of their stuff everywhere they're you know they're not providing value they're doing what everybody else is doing and they're not getting results so you know here's the thing you know would you like to kind of join the professional marketing group of people would you like to be in that top three percent of people that are successful in this industry or carry on doing what you're doing buy my products join my team you know selling your shit all over Facebook that nobody really cares about nobody wants to buy so it's so important that you tap into the four steps that I've just got through and it's gonna be strange to start with it's gonna feel weird because this isn't something that's going to happen overnight this is something that's going to take time but the more content the more value the more that you can contribute to the community itself regardless of what company people are in the more that you can share what you've learned with other people the more respected that you'll be in the industry so it really is important that you get that out there hey hey Demers lovely to see you hey Amanda lovely to see you as well so the professional network marketers, they're providing value. The amateur spammers, they're the ones that are, you know, just spamming their shizzle everywhere. So you don't want to be in that 3%. And I've done it, you know. When I first started in network marketing, oh my gosh, I spammed the shizzle out of everybody. I burnt all of my warm market. Um, you know, I just sent people a load of things because I was so excited about the product and I thought everybody else was going to be. But there is a better way. And my business has literally transformed since I've adopted this. So if you need help with this, if you need help, Help with um, learning about attraction marketing if you need help with being able to brand yourself if you reformed spammer I am yeah me too Ali absolutely my name is Emma and I'm a reformed spammer um, so if you are looking to you know take your business to the next level if you are looking to um, you know really really establish yourself in this industry as um, a mentor as an authority as a professional if you you know if you're not the kind of person that that you would buy from or you would partner with you need to seriously think about where you're going you know it's so easy to get wrapped up in seeing what everybody else is doing it's so easy to get wrapped up and see he, he's done this and she's done that and all they're doing is talking about their products and their business that we forget it just feels awkward to do something different but I promise you if you are not a serial spammer if you are doing embracing these four steps you are going to stand out from everybody else that is just kind of like you know I roll my eyes like going scrolling through 
through social media. I'm sure you do as well. So here's the thing. My motto and my goal, you know, as always, is to help as many people as I possibly can. Please reach out to me. If you want to kickstart your... Um, your attraction marketing. If you want to take your business to the next level, if you are at a stage right now where you are ready, but you want to kind of speed it up a little bit, um, please reach out to me. Send me an inbox message, comment below, I'll get in contact with you. I will show you the system that I'm using personally to be able to really embrace this that has taken me from losing money in my network marketing businesses to creating money in my network marketing business. And you know, I tell you what, my first business opportunity, I lost thousands, you know. I was buying products and I still have, you know, cupboards full of products that I never actually did anything with because I was doing it all wrong. And that is why 97% of people fail because they don't embrace these four tips that the top three percent do so for those of you that are serious those of you who want to step it up again those of you that you know are ready you know you might not be ready you might not be hungry enough yet but you know it is so important that you embrace those four steps and please reach out to me I'm so much here to help everybody I really really am that's what I'm all about and if you want to kind of tap into the system that I'm using please 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 let me know I'd be more than happy to share sharing is caring and uh, I promise promise you it's transformed my business and it will transform your business as well it is the most incredible system amazing platform so uh there we go peeps um also uh 2017 january um i will be putting some official dates up but i will be uh, hosting a webinar. It will be my first webinar that I'll be hosting solo. I'm super excited about it. Um, my subject is going to be um, is going to be how network marketing can be overwhelming and the things that you should be doing in your business and the things that you shouldn't be doing in your business. I'm going to give you some daily action plans, some step by step instructions. There's going to be um, printable um, uh, a PDF that comes with that as well, so that you can kind of take action every single day and take the right action instead of the wrong action. Uh, stay tuned. Um, I will be uh, updating more on that and also if you want to subscribe to my email list and get you know lots of little valuable content from me also comment below or send me an inbox message with your email and I will add you to my list as well so there you go peeps um, for those of you serious let me know happy to help I'd love to share with you what I've done that is going to be able to help you shortcut you know the long way <laughs> to, to learning about attraction marketing and to really building your business um, I'm gonna head back to chilling out by the pool right now <laughs> and um, I'll, uh, I'll speak to you all soon. Lots of love to each and every one of you. Stay cool, everybody. Bye.